This is Barbie Jean the Costume Queen for Big Z Fabrics. I'm going to show you how I made this adorable 24 inch teddy bear. I traced my pattern onto poster board. Four 55 millimeter joints, one 65 millimeter joint, a Sharpie marker, a fur brush that can be found in any pet section, a finger thing which will help push the fabric through as I sew, a 23 by 18 millimeter plastic safety nose, two 18 millimeter plastic safety eyes with eyelids, a pair of very sharp scissors and quilting clips, Arabian Wolf Eco Shag, and Micro Suede in Copper. I mark the back of the fur to show the direction that it's going in. Pattern pieces that say cut two, you must trace, then flip to get the opposite side of that piece, and then trace it. Suede cloth also has a direction that is correct. You can see as I wipe my hand across, that's the wrong direction, that's the right direction. The only piece that's going to need to be flipped this time will be the paw, and we're just going to cut two of the ear, even though the pattern piece is going to say cut four. When cutting fur, we're not going to cut into the fur, we're actually just going to snip that knit back on the fur. Pattern pieces that show the dot is the marking for limbs, eyes, and ears to be attached. Now let's get ready to sew. We're using black thread and heavy duty needle. We're going to clip together the fur and push the fur down in between as we clip and go. Now we're going to sew. Make sure that you uh, put the needle down in there and do a little back stitch at the beginning because we don't want it to come apart when we go to add other pieces to it. As you sew, we remove those clips. I'm gonna get my little handy finger thing here to be able to help me push that fabric through, which it also helps hold down the fur as you remove the clips, and you can literally push that little finger thing underneath the foot. It's a wonderful little gadget to have. And yes, it's called a finger thing. Now here we're going to be sewing the arm and we have a little marking for the opening. We have to leave a little opening on the sides of the arms and the legs so that we can get them turned to be able to turn them to the right side out and get them stuffed. And when you're done sewing, you want to make sure that on the curves, you clip all the curves. And also at the hands and the feet, there's that little space where you have to turn. You want to make sure you clip that also, because when you turn the arm and the leg, you want to make sure it's nice and smooth and rounded out and perfect. And once you're done clipping, go ahead and give it a turn. Sometimes it's a little difficult because that fur is a little long. I have a little thing that I use to poke it out. It kind of looks like a wooden knitting needle, but it's not sharp on the end, it's blunt. Get it all turned. Give it a tug and a pull. I'm gonna take the brush and we'll give it a little brush. That helps the fur come out of the seam. It's a lot easier. Some people like to use like a little thing to pick it out, but I like to use that fur brush, just pulls it right out and just fluffs it right back up. And this way the seams are nice and smooth. Because you don't want it to look like you sewed it. You want it to look like a teddy bear. You want to look like a bear. Now I'm going to show you how I put the legs and the arms on. We're going to do an arm first. We're going to take our 55 millimeter joint. I'm going to pop that through the body. And then we're going to take the arm 
And we're going to go inside and we're going to put the other side, the movable disc, we're going to put that inside, get that down onto the joint, and then we're going to take our locking disc and snap that down in good and tight. Sometimes you really got to push hard to get that down in there and make sure it snaps. And you'll see that there it's moving. So now the arms and the legs will move on the entire body and eventually we'll show you the head. And now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna clip the front of the face. You don't need all that long fur on the face. So we're gonna give him a little cut with the scissors first to get the excess of that long fur off. This way we can see his eyes. And we'll be able to make a mouth and his nose. You can see his nose and make eyebrows and a mouth later. And now I'm going to use my little shaver real quick. And we're going to go down through just to even out where the scissors so it doesn't look like scissors clipped in. We're just going to shave him down a little bit, try and smooth out that fur, fluff it out a little bit as we shave. And again, this just helps so that you can see the eyes and the nose and then the features that I put on with the um, eyebrows and the mouth. Now we're putting in the eyes. We pre-snip this space there for the eyes and put them down in and put that washer on there and lock it down until it snaps. I always make sure that it's nice and snug and it's not gonna move. Put the other one in. And then for the nose, you'll see I'm gonna flip it real quick. I'm not gonna be able to show you the whole thing. I put the nose in the little seam when I sewed. I left a little opening and I marked the space so I could find it quick. And I slide the nose in there and again lock it in with a locking washer. Now we're going to stuff. Now when you stuff, you want to make sure you put it in nice and firm. We don't want a sad floppy bear. We want one that looks well fed. So he has to be nice and firm. Jam it in there as hard as you can and keep going until you get all the way to his neck. Now he's all stuffed. He's ready to go. I'm going to brush him out again. Give it a little quick brush. This way I can see if there's any little pieces here and there I need to snip or maybe shave again. Then we're going to thread our five inch doll needle with some upholstery thread and gather that up. We're going to put the disc inside there. That's our 65 millimeter disc. We're going to gather that up and pull it nice and tight and tie it off. And then snip some of the fur around it to take out some of that extra layer. Because when you go to attach the head to the body, you don't need all that extra layer in there because it makes it more difficult to snap that washer onto from the body onto the neck of the head. There he goes. Oh, he started looking more like a bear. Ooh. Snip that off. We're going to snip off that excess fur. There we go. And you can give it a little brush too. Now I'm going to show you. I'm going to stuff the arm. You stuff the arms and legs same way you stuff the head. You want to get it down in small amount first to get down into the, the hands and the feet. And then you stuff, stuff, stuff until he's nice and firm and s solid. And then we get them all sewn up. Take our five inch needle and our upholstery thread and stitch, stitch, stitch. Now it looks like my cat decided to join us. You can probably see him on there. And then once we get it all stitched, we tie it off. And then brush it out. And that hides where you just stitched it up. Now we've attached the ears and we're going to sew on his features. Again, using the five inch and doll needle and upholstery thread with several layers. And it takes a little patience to do that part. But in the end, we will have a beautiful finished bear that's ready to love. 
Thank you for watching. This is Barbara Jean, the Costume Queen for BigZFabric.com.